Welcome to the debut of the Marin V. Cedar Poetry Corner. Please welcome the poetic stylings of Bucky Sinister. There's an alternate universe in which Bruce Wayne is poor and I have my shit together. Without money, there's no Batman. There's no Batmobile, no Batcave, no utility belts. Much less a cool butler and a trusted sidekick. Without money, there's no Batman. And without Batman, there's no crime fighting. There's no hot vigilante action. There's no pensive brooding on the rooftops of Gotham. In this universe, Bruce Wayne drinks alone in his trailer home in Arkansas. Bruce has one friend. Me. He calls me in the middle of the night. Hey, it's Bruce. Can you come get me? I'm feeling real low. I can tell by the sound of his voice that he's been dumped again. In this universe, Bruce Wayne ain't that lucky in love. I pull up outside his trailer in my convertible 63 Lincoln Continental. Bruce makes his way inside the car, reeking of whiskey and cigarettes. She's gone, he says. Can we stop by the store? When we get to the store, Bruce hobbles in. His knees and feet have seen better days. He's got a couple vertebrae in his lower back that cracked and healed poorly that gives him constant pain. He has chronic headaches the VA hospital won't do anything about. They say it's psychosomatic. I buy Bruce another bottle of whiskey and we go back to my place. I know he doesn't want to talk. He just doesn't want to be alone. I turn on the TV and we watch as he drinks. We watch The Tonight Show with Lenny Bruce. Tonight's guest is Jimi Hendrix. He's plugging the album he just cut with Miles Davis, The Kind of Blue Haze Experience. He's asleep by the time Late Night with Bill Hicks comes on. During the guest bit when Richard Pryor is talking about the cure for multiple sclerosis, I hear Bruce talking, unawake but not rested. Bruce talks in his sleep, and I would let him, but when he starts screaming, It's not fucking right! It's not fucking right! It's not fucking right! I have to wake him. When he finally realizes he's awake, he instinctively moves for the whiskey. He's shaking so hard he can't pour it, so he drinks it right out the bottle. I sit next to him. It's okay, Bruce. There's another universe out there in which everyone loves you. Children read about you in comic books. Adults make movies about you. And you symbolize justice in human form. Bruce exhales loudly and looks up. And in this other universe, he asks, what are you? Bruce, I say, don't you concern yourself with that. Thank you.